helpful to me uh, in loads of ways. You know, I think it highlighted issues around gender and race and sexu sexuality that I probably wouldn't have been familiar with. Um, but I suppose it just got to a point where the abuse um, and the negativity was really beginning to impact my mental health because some of these people seem to have a really feral sort of emotional intelligence where they really seem to understand what your vulnerabilities are or what, you know, things that you're, like, weak spots that you're particularly sensitive about and then just really go for it. Um, and I, I it was just exhausting. I suppose your story was out there, so they... Yeah, yeah, so I suppose as well that they felt like they could, I suppose, weaponize that. But I think as well, it wasn't just the negativity. It was when I went on, every time I went on, I would start comparing myself with other people and say, I'm not doing enough, I'm not working hard enough, I'm not achieving enough, I'm not good enough. And then I began to worry, um, are other people feeling like that when they're looking at mine? And I just said, you know what, I'm just going to give myself a break and just be present and not kind of constantly be thinking about how will I frame this experience, you know, to make a clever tweet or to look good on Instagram. And I was like, I'm just, I just want to sort it? of... No, I don't at all. And I've taken social, break, break, um, social media breaks before where I'd sort of be reaching for the phone, whereas this time it was just this overwhelming sense of relief. I was like, okay. Yeah. Um,